Welcome to TradeTheNBI.com. This is Jonas Report is for the 17th. And, well, there was that uh, strong move back up uh, in the counter trade, and we could see the beginnings of it with the slight pickup of the DOC Steel. Um, slight improvement, too, from a shakeout, even though it's still negative. Uh, doesn't put anything out of the woods yet, but this was where we see the MBI when the magenta doesn't go below yellow and that pivot back up above the 33. So that was a pretty strong response, forced a lot of short covering. And, you know, that's that counter trade that we were talking about, you know, all things being equal. If there's not some major development, upside was definitely the play and certainly was clear from a NQ standpoint because it's been stronger, relatively speaking, and that's where... Um, the strength really occurred for the most part and almost have a uh, steel crossover here of the uh, orange which also is net bullish and we've talked about this one as well the green still was above uh, red doc which also indica indicates some strength so it was enough to keep things in order and treasuries uh, coming back down and uh, keeping the yield uh, pretty close to even to where it has been when we look at oil still uh, held on to most of its gains uh, modest in between there and anything higher than starts to put uh, upside pressure against the market anyway and here we have uh, the euro bouncing back just a bit because of that uh, both the ease in the euro and also the fact that uh, you know it's going to try and get as much support around this area as it can simply to keep it from falling it's only if oil starts to spike will it really uh, have a major detrimental effect on it. Uh, from a gold standpoint, it held on to most of its gains as well, just a slight little pullback within there, and we would expect that that's going to continue. That certainly had an impact. Uh, Bitcoin was really strong for a while, sold off in between there, but certainly, again, uh, relative performance to ETH, huge difference, uh, far better um, from the Bitcoin level. So that's an interesting one to see, and that just means probably have more sellers in that uh, ETH space than you do from a Bitcoin standpoint. Um, 50K, the MBI uh, had taken the long at the start of this move and uh, exited out of there on the brief breakdown of uh, the MBI right there, but still solid captured most of that move. That was pretty clean. And we can see here from an intraday standpoint, it started up and there was nothing stopping it because uh, there wasn't any major news that broke, no ground assault or anything like that started. You can see the positive extreme that got set up right here was filled back uh, mid portion of the day and then it just turned around and brought it right back up to the peak and that's where things ended. So overall pretty clean. We still expect um, volatility on any news that comes. So that's just something to be aware of. But overall that uh, bias push to the upside is uh, Definitely uh, hard to counter when you have so many people positioned in one direction. So it becomes a perfect opportunity for them to slap people around to the upside. Doesn't mean it's sustainable. It just means that uh, they're able to put uh, that kind of pressure. And clearly, we saw the early markers of it at the beginning of uh, the morning uh, in pre-market uh, well before. And then it accelerated as we got to the uh, regular uh, U.S. cash open and uh, just accelerated from there. That's the long and the short of it for now. As always, if anything relevant pops up, I'll let you know on the Skype chat. Trade well.